Hi folks, it's Aaron and Melissa at TrueStream with an update to the video we put out last night and uh, concerns a drill as well as a terror threat here in Austin. And first of all, the threat advisory issued to law enforcement was confirmed via KXAN, that's the local affiliate here in town. And furthermore, they have claimed that it was released by mistake to the public. We want to know why was it not told to the public? Why is this issued only to law enforcement? We have also confirmed that simultaneous to this reported threat, there's a multiple law enforcement agency drill run by Homeland Security going on here in Austin. It involves Texas Department of Safety, as well as Austin Police, Travis County Sheriff's, University of Texas Police, and the FBI. So those are all facts, and they were confirmed by the Austin Police Department. We spoke to them. You'll hear the phone call in a moment. Well, see, here's what's, here's what's troubling about this situation, in my opinion. This release that came out from the Texas Department of Public Safety informing people that there was going to be a multiple law enforcement drill wasn't released until the 7th, okay? The threat says that the threat is on the 8th and 9th. So this was released on the 7th, and look at what they're telling people in this quote. It says, the public should not be alarmed if they observe unordinary law enforcement or first responder activity over the next few weeks in the Austin area, said DPS Director Stephen McCraw, who also serves as the Texas Homeland Security Director. So he's telling people right there, if you see a first responder or somebody in law enforcement acting strangely, you're not supposed to say anything. He's basically telling the public to stand down if they see a first responder acting bizarrely are doing something out of character. Meanwhile, you've got KXAN confirming that this threat letter is a real threat letter. This is the threat letter from Force Protection Alert from Texas Military Forces. They confirmed it, but they didn't confirm it until last night. So last night it was confirmed that this letter existed, which is the first day that the threat says we that there could be terrorist attacks taking place. So they weren't able to confirm it until the day of. And now, all of a sudden, you've got that, and you've got they're investigating, we released something, but they didn't release it until it's already going down. So why would they not warn the public about either of these things until it's already happening? And actually, the drill, that wasn't even released until the day before the threat. So while they're telling everyone it's a drill, meanwhile, they, they've known for weeks there's an actual terrorist threat. And bottom line, just like other drills that have gone on, they've told the public, don't be alarmed, don't be concerned if you see unusual law enforcement activity. Meanwhile, they've told law enforcement, respond to this as if it's a real threat, albeit a low-level, low-credibility threat. Why don't they warn the public? If they can stop the next 9-11, they obviously should warn the public, uh, if only to keep the victim counts down. I think it's bizarre. Uh, we're going to play the phone calls with the Austin Police Department, as well as our attempt to contact those listed at the bottom of the threat advisory, and you'll see those right now. Hi, yeah, we're calling in regards to the release about the force protection alert for Austin that was released to the media. We were calling to confirm it. Saying what is this? Uh, this is a blogger. It's about the possible terrorist threat to venues in Austin in August release. Who is this? I'm calling to confirm that this is a real release to law enforcement. Who is this? Who is this? I'm asking you. Who, you called this number. What is your name and what organization do you represent? I'm Aaron Dykes. I'm with TrueStreamMedia.com. With who? It's a website. Okay, you need to call the public affairs office. Well, we're calling to ask why the public wasn't warned about this terror threat. Again, any media questions need to be uh, directed to the Academy of Republic Affairs. Well, you were listed on the release. Do you have the number? I was not listed on the release. This is a phone that's actually not occupied. I have Steve Johnston, threat analyst, 512-782-5290. This document's yeah, been I'm released not. to the media. It's been confirmed by KXAN. I am not Steve Johnston. Steve Johnston does not work for this organization. Oh, really? But, yes, but I can refer you to the Public Affairs Office, and they are prepared to answer any questions that you might have since they deal with any media requests for information. 
Okay, what's the number, please? Stand by. What's that guy being? 512-782-5620. 5620. Well, just so you know, you're listed as Steve Johnston, so don't get mad when people I, call you as Steve Johnston. I'm not mad. I'm saying that I'm not Steve Johnston, uh, and this is not Steve Johnston's number. Okay, well, it's listed as Steve Johnston's number, so you'll have to forgive the misunderstanding. Hey, not a problem, sir. Are you involved in this terror alert? Uh, no, I'm not involved in the terror alert. Okay. Well, that's what we're calling in regards to, so thanks. Hey, not a problem. Have a great day. Thank you for calling Austin 311. All calls may be monitored or recorded. Austin 311, Jen, how can I help you? Hi, yeah, we're calling to confirm a story that was in KXAN about local and federal agencies investigating a downtown threat. And we've seen the release that was a warning to law enforcement circulating regarding a possible terror threat to the venues in Austin. And we were trying to confirm its existence and speak to someone about it. Yeah, I can't confirm or deny. Well, um, I can contact you with the Austin Police Department um, PIO. That way they can t discuss more about things that can Yeah, I mean, long, long story short, we don't understand why it was only released to law enforcement and that the public wasn't warned if there's a terror threat. Doesn't that seem kind I of strange? Can answer, yeah, I can't answer any of that information, but I can definitely direct you to uh, someone who can. Was the PIO available, or are they already out for the day? Public information, this is Lisa. Hi, yeah, I'm with a small website, but we're calling in regard to the terror alert that's going on. We saw the story on KXAN uh, confirming that it exists, and we've also seen the alert to law enforcement that's been leaked, and we're just confirming that there is something going on and basically wondering why there was no public notification, a warning to the public that there could be a threat advisory. Um, we sent a statement out to media um, a couple of days ago letting them know that we were aware of a threat and that we've been working with our regional and federal partners and that we're continue, con continuing to monitor it, um, and that is all the information that we have at this time. But there is a drill also going on at the same time, correct? Because I've got this other press... Um, with BPS. There's some kind of Homeland Security drill, but they, they sent out a news release on it earlier today, I believe. Well, can you comment in general why it wouldn't be public policy to warn the public if there's a threat advisory and why they would only inform law enforcement and it'd be only for law enforcement? Um, I personally can't comment. Um, let me see if I can find somebody that can, though. Can you hang on just one second? Sure. Thank you. So there you go. I think their attitude towards the public is just remarkable. Yeah, for real. Well, first of all, we couldn't get a hold of the one guy. No real question about where he is and why he's not answering the phone. He's but out the, in the field. Out in the field doing this drill or whatever. But the second guy, wow, where did that attitude come from? We're just calling, and he immediately took a very angry position. It was weird. The worst part is, I know there's a lot of good military and law enforcement. You've got to recognize that the Boston Marathon bombings... There was a drill going on and a procedure in place. Among the first questions when you see a real event happen is, was this drill infiltrated? Yeah, and so telling the public to be vigilant of people who might come down and be interested in the drill, that could be journalists, that could be media, and but not to be interested if they see first responders acting unordinarily i mean that's ridiculous to tell the public to be vigilant only of other of other people in the public not vigilant of any first responders acting bizarrely and it remains strange that homeland security said this is a random terror event but that they have specific locations specific dates and specific uh use of backpack bombs and and other specifics the bottom line is they had this terror threat for weeks they did not tell the public until the day of the threat, the supposed threat, and they didn't even tell us about the drill until the day before that. Wow. Well, we'll sign off for now. More coming soon. TrueStreamMedia.com. Doesn't make me feel safe.